Hi everyone, it's JJ here and welcome to Be Colorful. Today I'm gonna share with you the third card I made with the Tonic Craft Kit 43 Just in Blue. It will be a very special card. In fact, for the card base I didn't use cardstock but an acetate sheet. You will see what a fantastic effect I got. The basic idea can be replicated with any dye and paper you have, so you never have to limit your creativity, even if you don't have the supplies used in a video tutorial. Also, I'm gonna show you some techniques to use gilding flakes. So let's get started because I can't wait to share these ideas with you, hoping you like them too. As I have already said, this will be a clear card, so I'm gonna create the card base using an acetate sheet. In particular, I'm using these from the Craft Perfect, which are very thick. I cut out this sheet to make a card base in standard size, that's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And let's start creating the decorative element of the card. Specifically, I'm going to use the corner die and the two oval frames to create a frame. The technique that I'm going to show you involves the use of gilding flakes on acetate. If you want other ideas on how to use this product, in the description I'm gonna leave you the links to the video in which I use, in various ways, uh, the gilding flakes. In this case I'm going to die cut the figures on a double-sided adhesive sheet. This sheet have a protective film on both sides which protect a thin layer of clear uh, double-sided uh, adhesive. So I'm going to die cut first two corners and uh, a oval frame. Now I'm going to remove the protective film from the back of the die cut and attach them onto the acetate card base. Once this is done, I also remove the film on the front, uncovering the other side of the double-sided adhesive, on which I gonna spread the gilding flakes. The flakes are so thin that they stick very easily to the adhesive. Look what satisfaction to see the figures uh, come to life as you put the gilding flakes on the adhesive. I'm going to clean up and I remove the little uh, beaten pieces using a stiff uh, bristle brush. Even a dust cloth uh, like Swiffer, it's a great solution to eliminate small bits of uh, gilding flakes. The acetate sheets I'm using have a protective film on one side, so I'm going to remove it. And now the card is really clear and shiny. The finishing of the gilding flakes is really gorgeous. 
And now let's move on to creating uh, other decorative element. I'm going to use the corner dies from the kit to create beautiful butterflies. First, I'm going to color a white cardstock with the sparkle spray included in the kit. I'm going to apply the color with the smooshing technique. So I'm going to spray the product on my glass surface. If you don't have this surface, you can use an acetate sheet or any non-absorbent surface that can be cleaned, of course. I'm going to put the paper on the pool of color and I move and dab. I'm going to dry with an embossing tool to speed up the process and I proceed to die cut the panel with the corner dies. To be precise, I'm going to die cut the figure four times, two for each die. Then I, next, I'd like to add another wing to the butterflies to create a more uh, elaborate decoration with uh, moving lines. So on other piece of acetate, I'm going to attach a piece of double-sided uh, adhesive sheet, removing the protective film from one of the two sides. Finally, I'm going to die cut the two corners together with the coordinated dies. For the die cutting, I'm going to use the C6 precision plate. Since uh, I'm die cutting on acetate, this uh, plate solves the problem. If you don't have the C6 precision plate, you can put a piece of cardstock in your sandwich. Maybe try various thicknesses. Uh, until you find the one that will cut the acetate sheet correctly. This solution can be also applied to other brands of die cutter machines. Each company sells its own precision metal plate, but the cardstock solution is applicable for all types of die cutter machines. Instead of uh, acetate, you can uh, use uh, cardstock. I prefer to use uh, acetate in such a way that the silver of the gilding flakes is uh, visible on the back uh, of the card as well. On the cardstock, you can always apply the sticker on both sides of the figure, obtaining the same look. Well, back to us. Now I'm going to remove uh, the top uh, film of the double-sided uh, adhesive sheet and apply the gilding flakes. Next I'm gonna glue the wings. If you remember, I die cut four corners, not to make four wings, but because I want their backs to be colored. The card is clear, so I want to finish the back of the decorations as well. I also glue the silver wing, applying glue only on the central part. And we have created our butterflies with corner dies. You can glue them like this or make two butterflies like this. In any case, we need the body for the butterflies. That I will get it from a butterfly shaped die. If you don't have any butterfly dies, you can draw the body and cut it out, or you can use gems or pearls. The antennas can be made with thin strips of paper, and you can model them with the killing technique. In short, the sky is the limit. Back to us, I die cut two butterflies on white cardstock. 
and now I'm going to separate the wings from the body. If you are going to create a whole butterfly, the creation of the body and here. But I'm gonna arrange the butterflies in this way, therefore in a side view. For this reason I prefer that the antennas are positioned differently. I simply remove one of the antennas from the body I cut out the antenna from the other butterfly and I'm going to glue it to the body in the same direction as the antenna I left. Finally I glue the body on the wing. I am going to repeat the same process for the second butterfly as well, reversing the direction of the antennas. I'm gonna glue the two butterflies on the card and let's move on to creating a background which I'm going to put inside the card. I think this beautiful dark green embossed paper looks great on it. You can opt to cover the entire surface, however I prefer to keep most of the card clear. Then I die cut the paper with the largest oval I'm sorry, I don't know how that uh, could be possible but uh, I haven't uh, recorded anything or I accidentally deleted uh, the video Incredible! <laughs> well, so I'll try to explain what I did First of all I die cut an oval and glued it inside the card, paying attention to center it. Then I die cut two more ovals, always with the same die, on white cardstock, gluing them on the back of the card, as you can see in the photos. In this way you will have the space to write your personal message. As you can see the white ovals are perfectly aligned with the green oval inside the card, thus they will not be visible if you look at the card from the front. Now I'm going to glue the sentiment which I die cut on white cardstock on which I applied the double sided adhesive sheet and then applied the gilding flakes, exactly as I did before to create the butterfly wings. As a finishing touches for this card, I'm going to create a few drops with the Nouveau Dream Drops included in the kit, following the shape of the frame. And the third card is finished. For this kit it's also the latest one. I decided to create only three cards to try to catch up with the kit <laughs> since I'm so late. But if you'd like to see more ideas for this kit don't hesitate to ask me and uh, I will try to find the time to offer you other ideas. On the web you will find a lot of other beautiful cards created with this kit. I have tried to show you something different, 
so that you can use the kit in a thousand different ways. And I really hope you liked my ideas. Now I have to start with the kit number 44, which is a Christmas kit. To be honest, I'm not sure if I can get into Christmas mood in July. I will try. So, thank you for watching this video. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and leave a thumbs up to let me know that you have fun creating with me. See you next time, bye bye and be colorful!